has doubled efforts to root out rebels operating in the suburbs around Damascus and to prevent them from re-entering the city. In the past few months, dozens of vehicle checkpoints have been set up around uh, Damascus to stop car bombs and rebel fighters, but it's also made life very difficult for regular commuters. CCTV correspondent Ala Ibrahim took to the Syrian capital's congested streets to file this report. If you travel anywhere in Damascus, chances are you will spend the majority of the day stuck in traffic. It is a state of near gridlock created not by the volume of cars, but the presence of a vast network of security checkpoints. Ever since Damascus was hit by a series of deadly car bombings early in the conflict, the Syrian army and security forces erected roadblocks on the main entrances and throughout around the city. Every attack since has led to more roads being closed and more checkpoints. It takes forever sometimes to cross the checkpoint, and all the roads are closed, so I have to go this way. I do know if this is effective. I know there are terrorists in the country, but this is a slow form of death also. I just wish it could go faster. It is a troubling mission too for the soldiers, forced to stand for hours in the sun, searching cars which could be a moving bomb and mean certain death. As fighting around the capital grew more intense, larger numbers of soldiers were called away to the front lines, meaning fewer were available for the necessary security measures. The queue of cars grew longer. No matter how thankless and inconvenient, those manning the barricades understand just how important a role it is. We have a speed line for emergencies, and we are using new technologies to speed the search process. We are stationed here to inspect cars coming in and make sure they don't have any dangerous chemicals or explosives in them. These soldiers know, better than most, that checkpoints are not foolproof. Cars carrying explosives and weapons have breached their cordon more than once. On one occasion, a car bomb was driven through a roadblock and detonated in one of the main squares, killing more than 20 and wounding a hundred others. Everyone living in Damascus knows that checkpoints are a necessary evil and the lesser of evils engulfing everyday life in Damascus. This is why many people have made their peace with this time-consuming part of everyday traveling. Allah Ibrahim, CCTV, Damascus.